Hello everyone. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Yesterday we celebrated the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. For me, one of the most meaningful events in the Christian calendar, after Easter, of course. I can't imagine living without the power of God's Spirit within me, the living water that Jesus spoke of. And as a church, how could we possibly expect to minister to others without being empowered by the Holy Spirit? A church without power. Sadly, there are a few of those around, but we cannot fail to be inspired by a church which is vibrant with God's power. I'm still buzzing from the celebration of Pentecost, but I can't miss the opportunity of reading Psalm 121, one of the great Psalms for me, one of the Psalms that is filled with reassurance and comfort, something we desperately need in these difficult times. So here is Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Don't those wonderful words give you both peace and hope? But now we move on in our lectionary to more wonderful words, those of the Beatitudes. So listen now to the good news proclaimed in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, reading verses 1 to 12. Glory to Christ our Saviour. Now, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Whole books have been written about the Beatitudes. A blueprint for life, they've been called. I rather like this description. It has been said that the Beatitudes are descriptive of God's mind and of Jesus' heart. They are kingdom values and reveal what kingdom life is like. They shape and form our lives and longings to be like God's life and longings. That's a pretty good description, isn't it, of how we should live? We need to take it really seriously. I can't do the Beatitudes justice in a short time. However, to be someone who knows how much they need God, how much they need the comfort of the Holy Spirit in this difficult life, 
how important it is to be a servant to others, to want justice in this world, especially for the poor and the marginalized, and to work to alleviate their plight, to live a life that is pleasing to God, and to work for peace and love among people, and to stand up for the name of Jesus. That really is what it's all about. I know we often fail miserably, but we need to be going back to God each day, saying that we are sorry for our shortcomings and asking God through the power of his Holy Spirit to help us live as he would have us live. It is perhaps overwhelming to try and live out all the Beatitudes simultaneously. So one way of coping is to try to live and to concentrate on one of them at a time. Perhaps you could ask God which Beatitude he's calling you to, to today. Perhaps it's something that you particularly struggle with. I suggest you go back to the Beatitudes and read them carefully. Ask the Holy Spirit to open up their meaning to you and reflect on what they are saying to you in your life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, your Son, Jesus, has told us and shown us how we should live our lives. But Lord, you know that it is not easy for us to live up to these standards. In fact, you know, Lord, that we cannot do it in our own strength. And so we pray for the power of your Holy Spirit to help us to live according to your will. Show us where in particular we are falling short of your standards. Help us to work on those areas of our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our, Our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We pray for Africa. God bless Africa. Protect our women and children. Transform our leaders. Heal our communities. Restore our dignity. And give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, all those whom you love, for whom you pray, now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ, amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Goodbye, everybody. Lots of love. See you again soon. Blessed are the humble in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven and blessed are the mourners they will find comfort and blessed are the lowly, they shall reign on the earth.
star Those who hunger Who thirst for Justice For surely You'll fill them Completely And those who Show mercy Will be shown Mercy And blessed are The pure hearts They'll see God They'll see God Upon blessing, Lord, making us a blessing, a blessing for the world. Oh, how you bless us, Lord, blessing upon blessing, Lord, making us a blessing, a blessing for the world. And blessed are peacemakers, called the sons of God. Blessed are those oppressed for righteousness sake For there shall be, shall always be Yes, there shall be heaven's kingdom Oh, how you bless us, Lord Blessing upon blessing, Lord Making us a blessing a blessing for the world Oh, how you bless us, Lord Blessing upon blessing, Lord Making us a blessing A blessing for the world Oh, how you bless us, Lord Blessing upon blessing, Lord Making us a blessing A blessing for the world Oh, how you bless us, Lord Blessing 